Yo, what's up, pals? Hey, happy day to you. Hey, uh, just a quick one this morning. Um, I listened to this teaching last night uh, in the training school and kind of got on my heart and uh, challenged me a bit. Uh, but it's the simplicity of like God's love for us. And I was reading John 15 last night and the simple concept of, you know, there's no greater love than he that lays down his life for his friends. And the Holy Spirit challenged me and he said, Austin, how, how come this concept of actively laying down your life doesn't work out in the day to day? And as I've been thinking about that today, uh, last night, I, I was like, well, the active choosing to love the person in front of me at the cost of myself doesn't seem to play out because I don't actually expect that from God. Like, I don't actually expect that he sees me, that he values me, that his heart is for me. Like, I so quickly go back to my performance and how well I'm doing at X, Y, and Z. And uh, specifically, my wife was extremely kind yesterday, going out of her way to see me, to ask what she could do to, to love me. And so my challenge today, as, I, as I'm just meditating on that text, my challenge, my invitation for you is check out John 15 and specifically verse 13 and ask the question, like, how can I lay down my life for somebody today? Like, how can I engage, love, serve someone in such a way that it costs me something? You know, something as simple as buying someone lunch, going out of your way to compliment, you know, a coworker, a friend, you know, going out of your way to call somebody, you know, it costs you your time, your schedule, your comfortability. But God's love looks like something. And I don't know if many of us are actually going to die for a friend today, but I do think we could lay down our lives, our comforts, our schedules, our self-focus for those around us. And so what does that look like for you today? I would challenge you, check out that text, consume it, but then act on it. So I got one more side note. Uh, we're going to be dropping this, my wife and I, next month. Um, but we're going to be putting down, I think, 15 to 20 episodes, basically just sharing our story on kind of all the way back to Wheaton church planning process in Fort Collins and things we've learned along, along the way but then what God's been speaking about Tulsa. So if you're interested in checking that out, that's gonna drop on our local site. Love to see you over there. If not, be blessed, highly favored, and we'll see you around the world. Peace, homies.